Hey guys, it's Tally and Trevier here with more The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Luke is back again too. Uh oh, what is going Hello. on? Hello! Uh, an error occurred. Please try again later. Uh, I don't know if stream people are seeing this, so I'm gonna try to refresh my page. Hang tight for a second. What are you doing? YouTube. I think we might still be live. It might just be that my preview is broken. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wait for this page to load and then we'll see what's going on. Yeah, I don't see any interruptions on the stream. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, in that case, I guess I'll just wait for this to go and we can just get started. Um, yeah, so I think we're about halfway through the game-ish, so hopefully we can finish it today. Um, although last stream did go pretty long. I, I actually went and double-checked <laughs> and it is the longest video I have on the channel so far. So, this well, one might end up being long too, we'll see. So um, much for the need for speed. Yeah. Well, Sonic would be yeah. disappointed if he wasn't dead. <laughs> True, although it's possible that he might actually not be dead, which is a little bit disappointing. He might be if alive. I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, I wanted Sega to go there. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess let's just continue our playthrough. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully the stream is working. My page is back up, so I think I think we're okay. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, I'm seeing the screens on the stream, so I think we're good. Okay, cool, awesome. So we're good to go. Um, let's see. Last time, what did we find out? So mostly we just know that Shadow's been running around all of these goddamn cars, locking everything. Um, we still have no idea how. Yeah. Sonic actually ended up in the dining car. Yeah, that's something, because he's supposed to be at the very front of the train. Yeah, that is very mysterious. Mysterious. Um, yeah. And we know a couple of people have been going back and forth. We know Rouge was kind of going back and forth a little bit. Rouge has uh, been doing through stuff. to the saloon car, and then back to her lounge car, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm most confused by whatever the heck Shadow is doing. Shadow. Always an enigma. <laughs> it's true, I guess. I'm also very suspicious of Amy. Because uh, she ran ahead, Amy's and suspicious. we have not seen her since. Um, we haven't seen her since. She, so we don't she know what she's been have, up to. She could have set herself up an alibi when we all crashed in the dining car. Yep. I'm personally most suspicious of the conductor. That is also who I point. believe to not to not be that that dog in that framed picture there. I think the conductor is an imposter, <laughs> possibly Eggman, possibly Hello. Sonic's robot duplicate because I kind of remember his eyes looking like Sonic's robotic duplicate, but I guess we'll see when we inevitably get that flashback for like the 17th <laughs> time of the conductor telling us not to mess this up. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We're, we're gonna remember that back during that conversation he actually revealed that he was secretly an evil spy. All right. Yeah, it's like, oh, right, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I was too busy focusing on how rich and famous these people are. Yep. Um, all right, well, on to the next car. Let's see what we find right. there. Let's roll. Are we doing the same voices as uh, last time? Yeah, I think so. Just keep going, uh, <laughs> if we remember them. Yes, uh, so I was Tails. Yeah. You sure you don't want to stay and look at the great books a little longer? No, oh, Tails. Uh, is there anything we missed in here? I think we're good. I, I think so too, but... Alright. The mystery calls. Oh, 
Okay, the investigation continues. Ooh. Who the heck's this guy? That's Chow. Casino car. Oh, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. The Phoenix right way. <laughs> Uh, Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. Now, I think I was Rouge and you were Blaze. Yes. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, damn, we got promoted. Promoted. <laughs> promoted. <laughs> microwave master. <laughs> uh, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Dales is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Well, that tracks with what we've heard so far. It is a very treasure. Rouge thing to do. They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Why would they? You're only the microwave master. <laughs> I'm only the only Since employee I'm around. Part... Yeah. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé Chow Egg! Wow, that does sound extravagant! <laughs> it's always so funny when he makes this face. You can see he looks yep. so legitimately traumatized. Tails is just poleaxed. <laughs> a Fabergé Chow Egg? <laughs> like the you light is gone the from his eyes. Fabergé Chow! <laughs> Don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. That's so mean, Rouge. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Birthday present, you say? How suspicious. Has anyone else it's mentioned the birthday presents? Text. Do we know what so, other... No. Because I would be wondering what other people potentially gave or tried to give Sonic. Um, er, Amy. Uh, Amy, right, sorry. Um, Sonic was I wonder supposed if, to give Amy Yeah, he was supposed to bring a cake, cake, but didn't. And he didn't. I wonder if... And he if, didn't. Well, I was going to say I wonder if the present was something that Amy used to supposedly murder Sonic, but I feel like the birthday yeah. present giving probably happened after. Probably when she was Present going back was to the... Present Vector's knife. <laughs> she wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the car, the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? What did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? <clears throat> I found the train's blueprints in the library card with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. Mm, I wonder if the blueprints are going to have more details than More details. Seen. The train Maybe some... did it some way to move through the train unseen. There's like the a secret passage. 
that Sonic could have gone there. The train. Yeah. The train's blueprints. Please, Roosh, let us see that. Uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads elevator? us back right to the room. Hold. Yeah, elevator on a train. We had a two-story library in the last car, and now there's an elevator that would on the train. Things. Well, that would explain how Sonic got through tr train cars. Yeah, without it turns through. out. It turns out the map that we saw, where the train cars like seem to kind of loop around, it turns out that's actually vertical. <laughs> it's just going up. <laughs> Sonic just like climbed down. <laughs> The elevator behind the security guard leads right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. So it's time to mug him? The Chow. We're gonna beat up a Chow. <laughs> yeah, apparently. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. This is the heist of a lifetime. Forget this dumb visual novel <laughs> stuff. Yeah. We're Ocean's Elevening this. So, like, is this part of the mystery game? Like, why, why is there a mysterious guard guarding a treasure? Or is this just something well, that exists clear. on this train? I'm so I think confused. it might be something that exists on this train separately, because I think Rouge is going rogue to investigate this. Yeah. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting, but, like, that's so conspicuous and weird. <laughs> what is and going on weird. on this train? Also, like, the... It's so weird. This seems like, you know, the, the top of the train, right? Yes. Like, yes, where, where does this elevator go? Where's the second floor? Where does floor? this elevator go? No I'm one knows. so baffled. What is going on here? What is this train? What is this murder mystery game? It's all so weird. The train has become <laughs> sentient, and that's why it murdered Sonic. I guess so. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow egg? It's like, that is so bad for your job security. <laughs> Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? Oh, I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. She's deep in character. Ah. <laughs> uh, War card must be influencing her decisions here. But isn't this like outside the game? Or Luke is it part of the game? just immediately threw away her character sheet. Blaze is like, no. I yeah. will be in character. She's the just whole like, even, time. even if we go off the rails of the murder mystery, I will still continue acting as my character. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Welcome. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Callion, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> do I know anything about this? <laughs> Was this part of my, like, employee handbook? <laughs> it's like the first day of the orientation. It's like, now, Talion, remember, under no circumstances should you let our rich and famous guests steal our Fabergé Chow egg. Also, don't let them get murdered, but if you have to choose, if you have to choose. The is for squares. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. She got me there. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation. <laughs> it's crumbling. <laughs> yes, your cool and mysterious reputation that you definitely had. The master of the microwave. <laughs> cool and mysterious. Breaks so easily under peer pressure. <laughs> peer pressure. Peer pressure. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm in. I'll help. <laughs> Just immediately. Immediately. Old. They are not trusting you with any heist secrets. <laughs> well, I suppose if both Blaze and Talion are in... Okay, let's 
get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> Tails also immediately falls under their pressure. Tails is like 10. He's got like six PhDs, but you know, still 10. Yeah, I his guess maybe he, he's just at that. Yeah, he's at that age where he assumes his, that the grown-ups know what they're doing. His entire social sphere consists of teenagers who are like superheroes and treasure hunters, and ultimate life form experiments. Like everyone here is categorically cooler than him. He holds Aww. a lot. <laughs> You're cool too, Tails. It's okay. He is cool too. He he builds his own biplanes. And <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Rouge is 11. Now we must plan. Oh god. Oh god, what's going on? <laughs> oh boy. What have we gotten thing. ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chowin. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta like, this is like the scene where it's cutting to five million different uh, shots all in the same in the same frame. Access to the Fabergé chow egg is behind a locked elevator door. The security card has the access card. Do we? Oh, there's good dialogue check and the wrong some. answers. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. Maybe. Check the guard, bribe the guard. I feel like distract, distract the, the guard is probably the correct answer. But yeah. I guess we well, have to go through all of the them. Guard. Yeah, we, we <laughs> immediately resort answer. to violence. Violence. <laughs> it's always this the is answer. Like peer pressure, the microwave master. <laughs> I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a chow. Is that a thing? Are they just too innocent and precious? They are tiny and innocent and precious, and there are so many awful things you can do to them in some of the. Oh no! <laughs> in some of the games. No. <laughs> It's like, if you want to get an evil-looking chow, you have to, like, mistreat them. It's a whole thing. But why would you, you want to get an evil-looking chow? All in the oh, chow you, collect, you collect chows? It's, oh, no. It's like, there's mini games and side games, it varies, but, like, uh, the, the ones... The one I remember from, like, Sonic Adventure was, like, here's just the chow gardens and you can just raise chow oh, but I like see. if you want specific kinds you gotta you gotta be willing to mistreat an innocent animal that relies on you for all its protection lovely you are the true monster <laughs> let's keep the violence to a minimum shall we less fun but I agree let's think about it again <laughs> Bribe the chow. Anyone have anything we can use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. <laughs> exactly what he needs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a trading card. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving you anything. Maybe bribing isn't the way to go. All right. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. Yeah. All of us. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. We are all equally charming. <laughs> that was actually a really nice thing to say. I feel like my character is like the biggest loser in this entire game, and it's kind biggest of hilarious. Biggest loser in this. We're really not well representing the DeviantArt Sonic OCs here. Alien, <laughs> is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Mm. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. I mean, it's a special kind of charming. Yeah, it's the like, you know, just kind of sad, uh, wet cat in a cardboard box kind of charming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna be in a casino. My poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? <laughs> I, I think I'm conspicuously absent from that uh, uh, yep. representation there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess maybe they did think better of it. Yeah. All right. Like, um, hmm. I don't know who oh, the right answer would be here. Because I'm not a hundred. I feel like. Blaze might be the right answer because Rouge has skills that are more directly applicable to the pilfering. And I think yeah. Tails is probably helpful for just like he's the detective. Yeah, he's the brains. So if something, he's the brains of the operation. So I think Blaze is the correct answer, but yeah, we might accidentally pick the right one. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Yeah, the flight might be useful on the one-story train. <laughs> oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. So yeah. Tails is another example of a person <laughs> who can fly, so... <laughs> sure! I could be the distraction! There I we go, like Tails the has a negative that. charisma. Vito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Blaze, his delivery was shaky. N -n no really I, I could do it! Sorry, buddy, but I think you'll be better off elsewhere. Yeah, because Tails can also fly. <laughs> In that case, who should we choose? Alright. All right. We did it. We Maybe correctly we could... failed. <laughs> Mission failed successfully. Think you could distract the guard, please? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. <laughs> Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. Lazy is too cool. What's the distraction? I feel like pretend the claw machine is stuck probably has the best chance of working, but I really like asking them about their partner and kids. Well, I mean, we are picking all the wrong answers, so... Yeah. Should I push a bunch of poker chips to the floor? Pick claw machine makes more sense. Causing a ruckus! I like it a lot! That'll get the guard's attention for sure! Oh, let's move forward! Oh, was that the correct... Uh, oh well, whatever. Vision mailed. <laughs> he didn't get to ask about his partner and kids. Yeah. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? <laughs> ask for the card. <clears throat> no harm in asking, right? Oh, you naive, innocent soul. Fresh face, this one. So cute. <laughs> Putting out things off the table is so cat-like true. I love it. Yeah. Suggest we take the guard out shoe shopping next? I don't think Chow wears shoes. These ladies are ruthless. I better rethink this. Okay. Uh, um... Grab them, like, grab the chow? Their... Yeah, I think pick their pocket is the correct answer. Yeah, probably. So. <laughs> grab them and fly up to the rafters. I don't know. I don't want any violence. do not be any violence. I'll just tie them up to a rafter. Easy. <laughs> Does this train have rafters? No. That's the only reason this plane wouldn't work. <laughs> Where do we get the rope? There's reason to. Interesting point. Maybe we should try something else. Alright. Pick their pocket. 
Snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises! <laughs> you get a sketch of the garden partner and kids, that's so cute. Too bad we missed that one. Ah, that would have been adorable. <laughs> Why couldn't we fail that successfully? With the card obtained, we just need to get Blaze out of there. Talion, what's your plan? <gasps> oh god, it's That's my turn. right, I'm putting you on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> keep resorting to violence. Drink without a coaster sounds great. Oh god, the, the classic uh, pretend to be lovers uh, ploy. I've read this fanfic. We can pursue the romance route once again. <laughs> I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. It's just a little push. That chow's low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, it bring unwanted attention to us. From who? Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? I thought we were the security guard. That was our new second job. Decent point. Let's think of something else. Alright, pretend we're blazing spouse. Romance route. Romance route. <laughs> then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes? <laughs> no, <laughs> God damn it. Oh no! All those war crimes we did. <laughs> All those horrible things we did to microwaves. I was, I was sure that that wouldn't come up in this job. <laughs> That's why we I came here to escape that life. In the first place. <laughs> I thought we left that life behind us. <laughs> I guess maybe we do have a cool and mysterious past after all. Yeah. See, kids, if you believe in yourself, your deviant o a deviant art OC can also find out they committed war crimes. <laughs> what? Well, I uh um. You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. <laughs> she was considering it. She was like, we can make this work. I said, well, try something else. <laughs> wow. All right. We the real the drink answer. I said there's a drink without a coaster. Yes. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> that was the war crimes we did. Several hmm. drinks without coasters. Eleven dead, nine injured. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... <laughs> <laughs> this is essential for the heist. Oh, these are all pretty good. <clears throat> um... Victory acapella. Now that's a proper. <clears throat> sorry. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no! One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? 
I like how we know there will be mechanical arms attacking yep. the ceiling. Obviously. I guess it was in the blueprints. What kind of secret elevator wouldn't have mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Yeah. I love the faces, The train too. did murder Sonic, after all. <laughs> I five each of them. I think tails is the correct answer, yeah. Probably, yeah. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy-nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. They all humored my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. And tie them into one big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? How are you going to tie the chow to the rafters then? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yes. Well, no. Um, I have servants to do that for me. But I gotta sing a little song while I do it. Well, perfect. We were already singing a victory song true. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Guess someone didn't want to hear my song. Alright. Tail disabled. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening oh, their God. grip. <laughs> These drawings are so silly. <laughs> oh, God. Well. Wow. I don't know, I feel like these are all equally bad. Equally bad options. <laughs> I almost like... feel like cry is somehow the correct answer because it's the only one that actually like seems to be doing something. I think this might also be one where like they're We go all through all of them. They're right all wrong. Slash wrong. Yeah. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. <laughs> if everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. I was gonna go save real quick, but whatever. Oh shit. Yep. The plan went off without a hitch, which I knew the pl <laughs> I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Ocean's Eleven, take that. <clears throat> we couldn't have made it this in this far without you both. You have my gratitude. I, I like the exactly non-infringing Mission Impossible music. <clears throat> <clears throat> Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. It's a shame that it was entirely off-screen yep. because it was really cool. Enough chatter. Now we claim a real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Seriously, where is this on the train? Yeah, I know. Let's claim <laughs> our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> Two things it looks like. Okay, so what's on the Two safes. What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too. Rings? <laughs> you can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. 
big is this egg? <clears throat> Enormous. Chow eggs are 50 times as large as the actual chows. Nobody knows how they're laid. <laughs> That's a little bit horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's thankfully... No, no, they're like regular sized. <laughs> No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. And give him the code on the blueprints and find out, please. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. I wonder if that mm. number has any sort of significance. Yeah. Perhaps a video game. It's just game a random release. number. Just a random number. Oh, wow. It's here! <laughs> I have it! I love how the safe has a built-in spotlight. Oh yeah. You know, the safe's gotta look at the egg, too. Alright! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here! Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Which is why we're going to open it right now. Hmm, so are they booby trapped or something? Hmm. Mysterious. Mysterious. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. Smash! <laughs> All you need to do is twist it. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. <laughs> uh oh. I love how it's ticking in time with the music now. Yep. <laughs> I love that face. bomb mm -hmm. I think you're on to something kid sure sounds like a bomb I need to dispose of that egg now oh of it after all our hard work Rouge fine fine but what do we do where do I put this thing in the vault maybe Back in the safe. Well, that's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? <laughs> oh god. Oh. Whoa. That's a lot. Is there a. Oh my a... god. Toss the egg in the elevator. Is there a. Put it in the. Yeah, throw it and lock it in the safe. It's probably the most reasonable yeah, thing to do, I but think god, I want to try the other one. Ones. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll note Chaos Control the Egg Away is a thing that Shadow can do, but he's not here. Let Tails cool it down with his tails. I don't think that's really how his tails work. Uh, Blaze could set the egg on fire, but I don't think that helps us. I'm gonna rock the egg to sleep. Wait, hang on. Yeah, let's say. <laughs> let's say. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <coughs> oh my word. Rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Yes. Everyone's always mad at the <laughs> idea guy. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, eat the Take one for the team. Captain <laughs> no. America. Without any salt, I won't. Really Italian? 
probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Uh. Tell the egg to stop. <laughs> she actually tried it. <laughs> That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Take one for the team? What does that mean? <laughs> like, throw my body over it or something? Yeah, Captain America style. <laughs> Here, give it to me. Get, get as far away from me as possible. <laughs> Remember me as my am. A hero. Callian, we will let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want to do, who are we to... I love that she's blushing at that. She's like, oh man, oh my word, you've unlocked my romance roots. <laughs> Stop. The microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. The body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ruthless. Let's think of something else quickly. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do all of them, but at least the funniest ones. Let it finish ticking right, and see yeah. what happens, maybe. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Talion. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but... What if the egg... isn't a bomb? What if it's a bomb? Wait, that's right! If this is actually is the actually right answer, right? <laughs> that would be so funny. Talion, I think you're on to something! Huh? What's right? Put it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. What if the egg is just a clock? Just a clock. You just open Everybody it up. Everybody blew themselves up for nothing. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting. Oh my god, this is actually right. When we quizzed him about the train's manual. I don't remember what he said that was relevant to this. What did he say? I mean, there were a lot of... There was a lot I of guess we'll find out. I don't remember anything related to ticking or bombs or eggs. Um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Oh, right, the, I mean, that's just the robot stuff. Well, robotic I guess arms. We'll see. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks that are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives oh. being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Yeah, but, like, what if this was brought that's on that's beforehand? Insane. Or if the robot arms were, like, instructed to, you know... Yeah, it assumes they're not in on it. Yeah. The train probably murdered Sonic, I think. <laughs> Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. I'm not sure if I'd buy that one. Yeah, Tails. It's a- yeah, I was gonna say it. Okay, let me read the line first. <laughs> <coughs> the only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and surely he wouldn't allow such a thing either. Or but, would like, he? The, dun, dun, dun. the arms, uh, listen to the conductor. If the conductor mm -hmm. tells the train robot that he needs to bring this Mysterious uh, ticking egg explosive onto the Fabergé train. Egg. Then, then the train listens to him, right? Then the train listens to him. The conductor is gonna get us all killed. Yep. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. But why I mean, not you lock it? Only toss it in the safe. Yeah. While I feel like I, I wish we had tried that out so we could see what their reasoning was against it. Um, why? Because yeah, I would say just leave it in the safe while we wait and see if it explodes. While we wait. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, we wait. Okay. <laughs> the egg, it opens. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were on to something. Phew! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. Places like me. I was... Yeah. Can't you tell by my relieved face? <laughs> my hunch was right. Thankfully. What's inside? Oh, it's cute. Wow, look at that skull. And it's so heavy, too. So is it just this necklace that's valuable? Or is it the egg? I guess it could be both. Could be both. That final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. I kind of wonder if this was supposed to be part of the murder mystery and this was, like, a present for Amy. It's covered in gems, and, and I think Rouge would know if it were, like, a fake. She's got a I lot guess. of gem hunting experience. It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! <laughs> Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why, if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us? I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. It's like poisoned or something. Anyone who touches it dies. <laughs> In like an hour. Everybody who eats the necklace dies, which granted is a very specific set of circumstances. <laughs> Maybe they just naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? Um, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. <clears throat> no one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Let's do a save. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Healing was strangely fun. Oh no, we're corrupting the youth. <laughs> we corrupted him. But I prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? I think she's still staring at it. He's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, darling? Those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? <clears throat> While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said. Finders, keepers. What are you hiding, Rouge? What are you hiding, Rouge? I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. I bet I can, sweetheart. <laughs> but I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, I'll get out of your way for now, then. 
We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. Those bootprints, though. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Talia, let's head out. We did yeah. absolutely no investigating <laughs> yep. these two. Mystery continues. They just fully got away with murder by distracting us with a heist. They're like, Sherlock Holmes would have been so easy to bamboozle if you just <laughs> made up a heist and got him involved in it and he'd just yeah. forget about the whole murder thing. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled by Robotnik, maybe? <laughs> or Metal Sonic? Or Omega, but he's, he's not usually a villain, so... I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. I mean, it is the conductor, but it's like, who is the conductor? <laughs> At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about that. About it. But fortunately, they still can't operate a microwave. <laughs> yeah, that is... <laughs> that is true. They're very versatile. Is it playing the slot machine? Trash can! Trash Tails. can! You must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Oh. I hear a no? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. <laughs> um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. Uh, of course, the murder weapon. <laughs> a poison a lollipop. lollipop. Could be. Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Italian? Italian, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? <laughs> We're unlocking Tails' room. Like, yeah! <laughs> Romance in everyone. Yep. Just leave me be. <laughs> we start everyone's romance route. And then everyone's none of them ever route. go anywhere. It's forever alone. Forever alone. I'm mad we can't talk to this guy. Can't talk to this guy. We couldn't ask them about their partner and kids. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, Knights. Knights. I don't know who Knights is or what. Knights Land of Dreams. It was a it was another Sega game. Starring Knights. Spelled with all caps but a lowercase I. Interesting. Yep. The Deep Lore. Hmm. Uh -oh. <gasps> That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. Surprisingly savvy businessman. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us and Sonic. Hmm. Every purple chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. So I'm not too surprised to see this here. Remember, kids, gambling is bad and only villains do it. <laughs> That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. I feel narratively we're foreshadowing. <laughs> Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. 
Yeah, that's because it's for villains. Come on, Tails, yeah. don't fall to the dark side. We avoided the stealing thing, but if we get Tails hooked on gambling... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's, we'll let's be better at Blackjack. Jack. You can count the cards. <laughs> I don't know how to play that. Easy. Let me show you. Talion, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? Alright, let's see. Big bunny, big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. <laughs> How long <laughs> until the others give me an intervention? I think they have oil. <laughs> Tails is just watching. <laughs> no! Talion, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? <laughs> Big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost. But maybe next time I'll get it? It's the hostile architecture of this casino. It's designed to make you not want to leave. Yeah. And see, the game tries to trick you by giving you the same dialogue every time, but I know it's counting. <laughs> you know better. I was right, though! You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? Savage Tails. I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. No, I don't got it. So I think it's three each time. I think this might be the last one. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. And of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? Tails <laughs> is doing the face again. <laughs> no reason. All right, I, I, I'm sorry, I gotta keep going. Okay, oh my god. I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Okay, I think that's probably the end. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> One more time. Okay, I think that's it. All right. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tails. <laughs> I really thought I lost you there for a second. <laughs> You're not even being tempted by money, Talion. <laughs> I'm just tempted You're by the prospect of tormenting Tails. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> At some point, we're gonna have to talk to them. At some point, yes. So is it just gonna have the same dialogue with Tails again? Okay, probably. I I should probably just leave. Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> I, oh, okay, I think we're, we're just back at that, yeah. Okay. Thought I lost you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Tails. <laughs> Thanks again for your help for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? Poultry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Is nobody gonna use the microwave around here? What am I even for? Without a problem. 
Just let me know if you need something later. <laughs> sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Your alibi. You could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé Chowick hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? And plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. Appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. <laughs> She wants the big money. Liz is like, it's too easy. I win every time. <laughs> I take your order. Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now. Thank you. Though, maybe the egg is a bomb thing. Destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. You don't say that. <laughs> Tails was never properly, like, he never went to middle school. He's just out here getting PhDs. Not well socialized. He social braces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure. We left the dining car, and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow, chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. So wait, did Shadow pass by after Amy then? I Amy guess was so. was not that far ahead of us, well, was she? Maybe. Maybe. What's going on? Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. <laughs> you can take a look. See, she just Let's keeps winning. Here. All she does is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> 14,000 credits. It's an enormous payout. How did you? I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That's smart. <laughs> She's so self-aware. Uh, oh, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Can do. Right, Cream uh, also exists in this game. I guess we're moving on to the next area. We clearly need to get the blueprints at some point, but maybe we have to talk to Shadow first. Yeah, I know. Weird.
Ready to get going? We have to do more games. We need to go back to those slots. <laughs> you need your fix. <laughs> Let's find Shadow. Do it. Lounge car. Watch out. Now's as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I didn't get anything. Uh, I was Amy, right? Uh, yeah, you are Amy. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason isn't convincing enough! It's inconceivable what you did! Hey, hey, what's going on? Huh. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. I keep going up in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Promotion! We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious! I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. That is so suspicious. What the hell is this appointment? He, he was given the most detailed lore document, and he was like, <laughs> I am going to ace this murder mystery party. <laughs> I'm going to get an A in murder mystery. I will be the ultimate party guest. <laughs> Who wants to meet with him? Well, Talion, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. We've already decided that Rouge and Blaze are definitely innocent without any follow-up, so let's, let's yeah. investigate now. Alright. They already committed some... one crime, which means they couldn't have committed another one. That's double yeah. jeopardy. That's basic <laughs> law stuff. <laughs> Um. Okay. Ready to find some answers, Tails? <clears throat> Indubitably, my dear Talion. Okay, what have we got? Talion, could you open the ward? Could you open the wardrobe, please? I would do it myself, but I'm Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I'm too short. My hands don't reach the. <laughs> No handles. Uh, sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. It's okay. I'll protect you, Tails. Wow, Tails, I was hoping. <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> Tails was stuck with it. <laughs> Alright, watch a pro. this dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. That's how the pros do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's suspicious. I gave you one job, Microwave Master. You'll never get the promotion to Iron Chef like this. For a second it looked like this brush was like painting on these stripes. But that doesn't make sense. I think it just happens to be cleaning at the end cleaning. of the stripe. Yeah. Well, this is like a there rug that ends here. Wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, there's this cord here. Huh? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Talion! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the war 
wardrobe opened. It goes to Narnia? Narnia. Screw Sonic. Let's go to Narnia. <laughs> There's a full passageway back here. How big is this train? Come on, we have to see where this leads. Not before we've investigated the rest of the car. Yeah. We've got to see everything else first. We got to do this all the side quests. This must mean something quests. big. Oh God damn it. Nope. <gasps> secret passageways. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. That could also potentially okay. explain why Shadow and Espio didn't see each other <laughs> if he was sitting yep, down yep. at the end there. Shadow's just like doing this Mission Impossible thing. Yep. So that gets Sonic at least to the library as long as he could have gotten to the lounge. Yeah. But there's still two train cars in between, mm -hmm. or uh, one train car in between. Weird. I don't believe it. Shh! Quick, back through the passage before they spot us! that to our inventory. Just pick up the whole wardrobe and <laughs> shove it in. <laughs> All right. Music All right. and what else have we got? Um, gotta check out the robotic arm. Of course, very suspicious. <gasps> Um, right. Robo arm. There's another robot arm, just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Could you tell it to do something? I am but a humble microwave operator. Slash iron chef. <laughs> oh, no. But I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. I'll give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> All right, who are these guys? Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. was spiritual. <laughs> I feel reawakened. <clears throat> Talion, we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. This is why you're only the Watson. <laughs> Oof. Better get back to the investigation. Ooh, lots of stuff going on here. Alright, we know we gotta save the best for last. Yeah, best for last. They told us about this in my interview. Lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. Lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Let's check the browsing history. Like, yeah, <laughs> check browsing Shadow's history. internet history. <laughs> Find his fanfiction reads. <laughs> Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. I wonder if someone could have used it to like fake some kind of documents, like the blueprint or yeah. something. Yeah, like like a blueprint. Can we print something? Can we blueprint like a something? Ticket. <laughs> print, print the sound of Sonic singing. Yes. <laughs> huh. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? 
Uh, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Oh, look at him go. And here you go. How did you print that without us actually sending a document to the printer? <laughs> yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, try at least set this back on the printer. You mean you don't want to keep it forever as a precious memory? As a precious memory of that time we let Sonic the Hedgehog, world-renowned hero and probable rich person, die on our watch. <laughs> hmm. A key ring must be Shadow's the locksmith. Shadow the locksmith. I would expect that he would keep his key ring on him and not leave it there. Unless this is part of... Schemery. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Take it? Ah, uh, he's caught the bug for stealing. <laughs> yep. By the way, your sound has been going out a little bit, like at the when oh. you start talking. Okay. I think it uh, like cuts off the beginning. I think maybe it's your like noise cancellation or something. I'll try, I'll try holding the microphone more deliberately. Does this help? Uh, I don't know. We'll see if you start talking and... again. Okay. I think so, maybe. <clears throat> All right. All right, um, big window. Wow. Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge. What a view. Also, how was the sound on that one? Uh, I think it, like, clipped at the very beginning, but it was, it was mostly fine, uh, I think. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast! Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. Hmm, if this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air, I'm telepathic now. <laughs> We're just on the same wavelength now. We're on Holmes and wavelength. Watson. We, bond we bonded over those jelly treats back in episode one. Yep. And now we're Holmes and Watson. Yep. <gasps> I just thought the same thing. <laughs> you... Bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Else. Also, did we click the picture frame? Which picture frame? The, uh, this the one? one behind the printer, yeah. Yeah, that's you where the keys it. were. Okay, that's where the keys were. Cool. Okay. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Italian, and you've been disappointed every time. I wonder if this dialogue is actually, like, knows if you've checked everyone. I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Talion? No. There's always something in the trash bin. Uh... All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Gasp, somebody's birthday gift for Amy. They bought it at the last second. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Shadow's like, oh shit, I forgot. I forgot a present for Amy. Let's buy this ticket and then lock the door so nobody can trace it back to me. <laughs> hmm. Are we sure this isn't out? just trash? Uh, because I, I don't know. Hmm. Are we sure this isn't just trash? Uh, 
<clears throat> I'll let you have this. How kind of you, Nails? <laughs> There's always success if you check the trash bin. Always check the trash bin. I play Pokemon. Always check the trash. I think we found enough clues. See, it was a vital clue. It was a vital he admitted clue, it Tails. Himself. Tails. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Alright, is there anything else we missed, though? We definitely haven't talked to Amy yet, so we need to do that. Alright, I think that's yeah. the only thing we've got. I'm glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. And, and you're ready to that's challenge what you'd Shadow. Be doing. <laughs> Talk to him, then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. She also didn't interview anybody, so... We'll hold you to it! She doesn't need to gather any clues because she already knows what happened because she's the murderer. She's just, you know, trying to come up with... The birthday her, murderer. Her, uh, Alibi. What yeah. patsy is she gonna Shadow, pin it on? Yeah. Shadow, potentially? Shadow's the perfect patsy. <laughs> He doesn't hold grudges, so he'll be cool with it. But we can interrogate her. Um, well, I think it, it would be like we like we did last time, or not last time, oh. but before with Vector and SBO, where it just started okay, the interrogation that's true. with both of them. That's true. Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Oh, she is uh -oh. so bitter about the birthday cake. She knows. She's she so she bitter. murdered she Sonic knows. over the birthday cake. She does have motive. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Um, talk. Oh, okay. This is just the same dialogue we, we did before. I go fast. <laughs> I hear sharing is caring. That's it then. Uh, let's go talk to Shadow. I'm close to getting the Save. scoop of the century. I can feel it. All right. Uh, Shadow. Save. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Pallion! We certainly will not! Can I take your order? Is the, is the start of things clipping still? Uh, no, I think you're good. Okay. I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Can I even go back? A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. <laughs> sure. I you know Shadow has never eaten a marshmallow in, his in life. coffee. And also, Shadow was saying that he wanted coffee beans to snack on, not yeah, to coffee. snack on just so. coffee beans, coffee and, beans and marshmallows. <laughs> it's like Lucky Charms. <laughs> With the marshmallows. <laughs> exactly like Lucky Charms. <laughs> maybe, maybe put it in some milk too. Put it in some milk. <laughs> I mean, you you drink coffee with milk, right? That's normal. Yeah, yeah. That's totally a normal I person thing to do. Coffee beans steeped in milk is definitely a thing. Is it? Yes, it's a confusing thing, but it's a thing. Fascinating. I remember came up at some point something <laughs> something five minute crafts oh god okay. it's a thing it's just like not anyways anyways 
it took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Alright, um, I guess we're... Let's check what we've got. So we've got our normal stuff here. Hidden passage. Okay. Key ring with a suspiciously small number of keys, and then crumpled paper. We can't even see what's on it. All right. But um, we do know that it's Hot Honey, Amy's favorite yeah. band. Much better than that that big Chow band that Amy hates so much. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll get started then. Why did you come over here? Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! <sighs> Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! <clears throat> Hope everyone's ready for escape found by yours truly! You're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. Reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. How the hell does that make sense? But yeah, because he did escape, Amy. You saw him. I mean, he, she might be arguing that so that Shadow didn't know that. Yeah, but I mean, Shadow, still, Shadow might not have known that. That is really weird, especially since he seems to have stopped at the end. Yeah. Like, wouldn't he have just waited for Sonic to get in and then lock the one door? The one door. Hmm. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. I guess that kind of makes sense. But it... Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain Ooh, anonymous, goodness. but I think the point source. stands. Source. Yes, the source that has to be anonymous. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? But we saw Sonic. Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. I wonder if this is <laughs> if she's trying to like bluff Shadow. Because yeah. like she knows that Sonic left. But she, she thinks that Sonic point. doesn't know, so she's like playing mind games with him. That would be kind of amazing, actually. You know, the 4D chess, you learn this at journalist reporter school. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? The shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. Get it? Train of logic? Because mm -hmm. we're on a train? <laughs> I slay me. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! Wait, how does Shadow know that? Shadow! <laughs> I think Talion and I can explain the car change, however. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Shadow locked the doors after Sonic was in the dining car, 
I we don't know that the yeah. lounge door was locked at the time, so if he could have gone to the library car. We know that Espio was busy reading. We know that Knuckles and Vector were playing the video game. Rouge That's might have true. gone back to the casino bar car by then. Yeah, and the casino car would have been totally skipped by the shortcut. By so the, yeah, then, yeah shortcut. she wouldn't have seen anything. Yep. Also, Shadow looks scared. <laughs> Talion, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? I think it's the secret passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Alright, let's do this. It's been a long time since we got to this. I'm so bad at dodging this. Ah! We haven't, we haven't no! played this in a while. Ah, I thought I had it. I'll give it another try. Right. Ah! garbage at these. in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Uh, secret passage? So if someone could have used that passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Poor Italian. Hmm. This adjusted my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? Did just kind of casually drop that. I am! But of course, this is just a theory. I a murder uh, theory. don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Seems Dale and I were more thorough than you. Yeah, that's what you'd get for speed running it, Amy. <laughs> hmm, if Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, 
then how did Espio and Vector not see him? <coughs> uh, well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Talion, do you have any guesses? So this is just the map of the library car again. I guess. I don't think we have that anymore, though. Oh? Well, well Espion Vector didn't see Shadow because... Um, yeah, Vector was... I mean, but these Vector are was with Knuckles. Espio was reading, I guess, both. Mm -hmm. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. You see? Things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. What is that place <gasps> for? Yeah, no, Shadow's scared. Something happened. I don't think he murdered Sonic. But I think he helped Sonic get to the dining car. Hmm. Potentially. Espio was reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. Gasp. <gasps> what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Yes! Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if? Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shad has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been... Passing out keys? Hmm. Talion and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Oh, just the fact that he has so few keys on his key ring? It's the key ring, yeah. We can do what? Talion, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The fact that Espio wasn't there is suspicious, but he can that also turn suspicious. invisible. <laughs> I mean, so maybe would he, he was just, just do that casually reading. when he was sitting reading? He's just so absorbed in the book. <laughs> it's like the world melts away. <laughs> yeah. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Hey. Alright, can I do it? Hey! Hey! I hit, I hit the jump. God damn it. I was doing so well, too. One reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? Uh. 
I have my own key on me. That doesn't make sense, though. Why would he have one... Well, I guess it's not exactly one key per other character. It's probably one key per car, right? Well, no, because Espio and Vector doubled up. Yeah, but, but they're like, both in the library car. So, like, did he give? I don't know. Like, I, I, did he give a key each to like Rouge and Blaze? I guess so. Maybe. I mean, I guess Knuckles had the key, but he was also the only one in that room. Yeah. So what? I feel like it's weirder to have one key per per participant than one key per room. But like, he maybe like his lore sheet. He's got like a deep reason for this. There's like maybe. something he's setting up. He's got an appointment to keep. Yeah, something's weird here. Something. Shadow's got an agenda, but I don't think it's murdering Sonic. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. I'm just wondering what the heck is going on. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Hmm? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? He's right. Hmm. Your theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? Hmm, I think... Talion and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. I mean, the only other evidence we have is the ticket. We got the ticket. But well, what does Ace that have Attorney to do Way. It? Yeah, present just, first, just present it. Out second. Yep. Just bluff your way through. Bluff your way through. It's the Phoenix right way. Why does he keep including me too? Because we read each other's mind. We're on the same wavelength now. <laughs> First, Amy, I have just one more question for you. I just have one question for you. Mm -hmm. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? <laughs> oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. So he's just Did buying he time on the computer. Birthday present? He's 50 years old. He needs to figure out how this browser works. <laughs> Well, the the printer is apparently very complicated. The printer is very complicated, it's true. He needed more time for it to print. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, he looks terrified. <laughs> Just, um, the Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. <laughs> Amazing. Being the most suspicious person on the train. <laughs> Understood. Thank you, Amy. That's right, Shadow. We're going to arrest you for not having a birthday <laughs> present ready. Italian? Ah, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. And we're not going to mention where we found this piece of evidence. <laughs> we know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exit. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. I just love Shadow's terrifying. So I guess he, he, he wanted like, to make oh, no. sure that everyone wasn't actually locked in. But I guess he yeah, yeah. did he just want to slow down Amy? Yeah, just he so cared she had very to, much about fire safety. She had to, you but know But he didn't realize that Amy had a birthday girl key. No no no, I think he knew that, just that she would have to actually take the time to go unlock every door. To actually unlock. That's true. That's true, I guess. Because that's Except why he for you that's why he locked all of the doors instead of just one. Well, yeah, but I, I think, I think, because, like, except for you, me, except for you, me, and Amy, I don't think he knew about the birthday girl key. I think he was expecting Amy to have to persuade everyone. Maybe. Yeah, see? That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So... Why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Was he trying we to keep the Amy. two of us out? No, that he was trying to keep Amy sense. out. I He's guess. He's trying to buy time so he can print out her birthday present. What do you really not know about the birthday key? I don't think he was knows that... about the birthday key. It's the only thing that makes sense. Was that not done in front of everyone? 
I, I thought it the... might have been, but maybe he wasn't paying attention. Maybe, maybe. that's entirely possible. They wanted to keep, keep us away. away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not a stallion. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. <gasps> but like Shadow what? did no Sonic was in Excuse me? Okay. Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? <laughs> <laughs> he did not know. Did, okay, way back in the beginning, did he mention knowing it was Amy's birthday? I Maybe have no idea. Maybe he didn't get a birthday present because he literally did not realize. <laughs> <laughs> How dare! Lillian, show me evidence! He's like getting this place and they're like, Oh yeah, Amy's gonna love this birthday party. What gifts did you give her? And Shadow's like, Oh no! <laughs> oh no! If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it! You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Chaos yeah, thinks Shadow is trying to keep Amy just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that a what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? There we go. Alright. Oh wait, Ugh, I should have probably saved. Oh well. It's cool. Hey! That was a really good run, though. I jumped, but I didn't jump far enough. Why did that happen? The platformer way. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. You went rooting through the trash? Who does that? It's not exactly rooting if there's one thing in there. If there's one thing in there, Shadow. Huh? What is that? Why do you we throw it out? We found this though? in the trash bin next to the printer. of a band's ticket website. Oh, I guess it's just like the website page and not the ticket. He yeah, accidentally he printed, the wrong printed yeah. He's like 50 years old. I love him. He went into cryo sleep so long ago. He doesn't know how this works. The thing is little emeralds. Oh my god, that's great. Tails, don't. He tried to dispose of it because he's embarrassed. He's like, he's I so fucked up printing. The ultimate life form doesn't have problems with printing. <laughs> Poor Shadow. It's <gasps> website! No way! Love them! Uh, hot honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. Are the members of B after their name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, Ooh. and they sell out in minutes. Maybe he didn't even forget. He had to be ready at a yeah, specific time. Yeah, it was a specific time, time so... yeah. He, and he knew the band that was so sweet, Shadow. <laughs> That's really cute. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. He's like, no one will know I'm great <laughs> at birthday gifts. 
situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's headed. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... <laughs> I have to, I'm sorry. He is. You must. You must do it. Hot Honey Band. <laughs> Leave. Now. I, uh... I don't know what kind of music Shadow listens to, but it's obviously not this. So, Shadow must be buying concert tickets as a birthday gift for Amy. <sighs> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets? For my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yeah, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Why didn't he just say that, though? Like, I understand being embarrassed if he printed Where's out the wrong the thing. Surprise! But, like, I, yeah, I guess. Shadow, He's planning to do it later. Shadow is the ultimate birthday gifter. I guess. They program that into his genome. He's just like... I will not ruin the surprise, even if I get accused of murder. He's like, I've been accused of murdering Sonic so many times. <laughs> Do you think this matters to me? <laughs> Hello. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. Poor Shadow. Poor Shadow. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder... Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. It's probably our fault there. Sorry, that's a detective's- that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Huh. <sighs> When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. <laughs> Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. <laughs> I love that. I was worried for my social <laughs> status. But damn, was it really... Did it just happen to be the right time? Or maybe he didn't manage to get the tickets. He yeah. tried. He but tried. He, he couldn't failed. get them in time. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the home page. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Mm, so that's when he locked everything. He has he the like... appointment. Oh, that's the appointment, yeah. That's the appointment. That's so cute. That's adorable. Amy, why are you still hung up on Sonic? <laughs> Is that ditch the appointment that you keep? Yeah, ditch that loser. He didn't even get you a cake. Yeah. He deserved to die. <laughs> oh, also, he's dead. <laughs> Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. That makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, and he would start at the back because that's where Amy is. Yeah. And then Sonic could very easily find the secret passage end up in the library car. If he did it at the right time, if, like, Shadow had already locked the library car door. Because I think what happened was Vector and Espio didn't unlock that for us because they didn't have the keys. I think Amy unlocked it and then left it there. I think that was what happened and why it was unlocked. Um, 
if Thonic timed going through the secret passageway right, like if he went out in the library car right as Shadow was locking the library car door or the casino car door, he could be, you know, he could be confident that he, you know, oh, Sonic can't have passed by because I never saw him. Right. Because he was going from back to front. So yeah, locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. Shadow the Hedgehog takes fire safety incredibly seriously. But then the others were apparently like, yeah, let's let's let everyone through. Well, I guess they didn't really have a choice with Amy, because she can open the doors herself. But they they let us through. They let us through. They're bad at this. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here, somehow. Wow, I guess he really didn't know about the birthday key. He didn't know about the birthday key! It's because the conductor gave me this! This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed it's a well-known privilege. <laughs> Everyone knows this. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet. And after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. Oh, God. It's like, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if... Too late, it's happening! <laughs> the show of a lifetime! Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two! While well, Sonic is dead, Shadow's just well, stealing his girl! Dead. Stealing his girl. The ultimate revenge plan. (laughs) (sighs) But yeah, Shadow, how did you know Sonic was in the dining car? You said exactly. Maybe he was just clutching at, like, exculpatory details, but... Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. Who was your source? source? Was it the conductor? The conductor? My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. He did say Espio wasn't there, which is interesting. Yeah, that's also weird. Sorry, Espio strictly can turn confidential. Did he just speed read it? I don't know. Very strange. My I do think that if what? Espio was... Yeah, sorry. What were you saying? Well, I was saying if Espio was the source, I would hope that Amy, as a journalist reporter, might realize that given the conflicting testimony about his location that it would be very suspicious for him to be the source. Yeah. Hmm. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. Hmm. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. I feel like the conductor wouldn't make sense for Tails to assume. Yeah. So I think it has to be Espio. I guess. Strange. We need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. What if it was Sonic? (laughs) I guess it could be the conductor, because he's like, you know, the conductor. Maybe the conductor, like, whispered it as he handed off the birthday key. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. 
Yeah, because if we're just going to the conductor's car, it's probably not Espio. Unless he's we're suddenly there. Than... Yeah, Espio's like, surprise, it was me. <laughs> well, I mean, again, he can turn invisible. He could have just been walking in front of us the whole time. That is true. We're more than happy to have you both. But, like, it hasn't come up that he can turn invisible is the thing. True. Talion, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Like, I'm like, okay, I think it. the source... Yeah. Yeah, they're not. It's either gotta be Sonic or the Conductor. Sonic's just like, Amy, Amy, pfft. Shadow did it, lol. <laughs> Amy's like, Sonic, tell me who killed you. He's like, no, Amy, that's not part of the game. No, tell me I'm the birthday girl. He's like, ah, fine, Shadow. The pieces are coming together. The whole picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Send this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on. Then let's do it. On to the conductor's car. I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. <laughs> well. Well, we'll see about well. that. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. Hope he's all right. He's like <laughs> What's the murdered. twist? Be that Sonic's death was fake, but the conductor is actually dead. Oh yeah, no, we find like limbs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen this much blood ever, and I've committed a lot of war crimes. <laughs> I can't believe a secret, secret passage was here the whole time. But who would have the known about the secret has passage the then? Blueprint. I guess someone could have just stumbled on it accidentally. Yeah, like or if did. someone had the blueprints, they might have been yeah, able to see. Yeah, Rouge has the blueprints. Yeah. And she still didn't give it to us. I could have sworn we were going to come back for that later. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's still a secret. Yeah. That would have been very useful. Yeah, the library is the closest thing to the bathroom. It's like, I had to drag convenient. Sonic's murdered body through every <laughs> single train car like a chum. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good birthday gifter, but I also did kill him. I see our priorities are different. <laughs> Yeah. And to the last car. Ready to go to the conductor car? It's now or never. Here we go. What will we find here? <gasps> uh oh. This is fancy. I see something behind the stool there. Should really yeah. sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? <gasps> what is this? Picture of the conductor, yeah. But he looks his different. eyes are... Is it, is it when he was younger? It could be when he was younger, or it could be an conductor. imposter. Or it could be like... I mean, I guess I was going to say it could be his son or something. But I think it makes sense that it was him when he was younger because he is saying that he's been here for such a long time and he's retiring. Could be an imposter. Um, so I think this is just from back when he first started working on this train. Um, it is definitely true the conductor should be here and does not seem to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, he also said that he was one day from retirement. He's definitely dead. He's definitely dead, yeah. So many death flags. Wait, where is the conductor? Hmm, that's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> Shadow Shadow does not he's he's doing the, the art of sitting on things that aren't chairs. <laughs> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's 
been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. Except he's dead. Yeah, he's dead or the murderer. May any future sorrow be fleeting. He just has to say in the most edgy way possible. Sonic murdered the conductor, then Sonic went into the, the dining conductor. car and pretended to be murdered to give himself an yeah. alibi. I'm like, things we got so far, Sonic could have done the fake murder in order to get all the chili dogs to himself <laughs> while everybody else is investigating his murder. The conductor could have done it. The conductor could be replaced by somebody else and have done it. Sonic could have murdered the conductor. Espio could have done it. <laughs> Rouge could have done it. We've still got some inconsistencies here. Yes, I wish that too. Um, what is this? Hmm? What's this? Was someone playing darts? Hmm. Is it a poison dart? Poison dart. That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. <gasps> like an actual murder weapon. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. What props do people have that could... Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. It's like, how does the train well, decide if something is a murder weapon? Or yeah, if something is a I weapon? I bet you could... Like, I that bet, could like, be passed off as, like, a hairpin or something, right? Yeah, it's like, it doesn't have... It doesn't have, like, an explosive trigger or anything. Yeah, it's not a yeah. gun. It's not sharp. And, I mean, Amy had her hammer... So I guess it didn't yeah. count that as dangerous enough. So Sonic getting knocked out, or the conductor getting knocked out. Hmm. Dale is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make a note of this. Ooh, what are these arms doing? Yeah, they're just like lying there. Well, I guess that one's running the train. <gasps> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. Sonic probably could. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is, why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sort sir. of a thing. Why? Hmm. If Sonic was the victim, why drag his body to the dining car? I think we've found enough clues. Uh, no, I I want to see what's up with that coffee cup. Yeah, we're let's talk to everything. Amy and solve this once and for all. Oh my God, did Amy do it? Tails, what are you talking about? Need to see what's up with the coffee cup. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? Cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. I knew a man who loved his wife once a long time ago. A lot of stuff in here, huh? Yeah, we, we need to click all of those. Click everything. A microphone! We can talk to the whole train with this! Hmm, did I say something? <laughs> Beatboxing. Beatbox. Talion, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> <laughs> Just, We're the coolest uh, kid on this train. Offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Talion. Thank you for sharing. But now we've given the killer our location, so... A 
vent. <gasps> Air vents. Yep. Of course. That's how we got to the dining car. Hmm. It's a large one. Seems that, like at least one person could fit through. But possibly not the conductor. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Sonic also, in theory, can't fly. Can he, like, jump I high? Think... Like, he can jump. Like, I wouldn't put it against... I wouldn't bet against Sonic that he couldn't get into the air vent. But, like, they seem to be clearly outlining characters who can fly. Right. I guess so. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem Which for is... you? Tails and Rouge. <laughs> They're so offended. Oh, the, uh, the tails. Great. Italian like, How defense. dare you? Forget about the you tails. You don't look. You don't look at a two-tailed fox and immediately assume. Oh, he can rotate those like a helicopter in order to fly. <laughs> Elliot. Ugh. You don't okay. just ask two-tailed foxes if they can fly. <laughs> I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisement. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy! That was so cute! The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. <laughs> the high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. That's gonna like be the relevant. conductor who the killer There's some kind of function that happened at some point that only the conductor could have done. That only the conductor could So do. we could have pinpointed when the, the conductor, conductor did it. Had to I've have been, been there. on team conductor. I don't know what that would be though. One. Maybe it has to do with the jolt. The jolt, yeah. That the conductor did something then. Somebody and after that something. he was gone. Yes. Or maybe it's that something happened that the conductor could have prevented if he had been there. If he had But been that's at our station. clue that he actually wasn't there. He wasn't. Hmm. And we haven't seen the conductor at all, and it would be much yeah. harder to, to hide his body. Did they teach you how to drive it? No, I'm just a microwave boy. Oh, no. Slash just Iron Chef. We got to promoted. Work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. Aww. It's true. You, you could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys! Huh? Oh, trash can. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to <gasps> check the trash bin. Gasp. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. <gasps> you give up that easily? You just get one and then you're done? Easily. You, you... The casino car rewrote your neurons. <laughs> no, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Yeah. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I saw you in the casino car. <laughs> I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh no, you look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. 
Is it a clue? Maybe just leave Talion alone for a second. <laughs> oh, it's not clickable okay. anymore. That's so funny. Yeah. All right, I think. We got to talk to Amy for some reason. Uh, talk to Shadow first. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? That's what I've been saying. The conductor did it. You can't convince me otherwise. I figured he's had to drive the train this entire time. But he wasn't. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> all right. Uh, is that all Let's do through? this. Okay, I guess Let's blow this shadow. case wide open. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? Oh, that's why we're talking to Amy, because uh. we're calling everyone here. It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Talion? Ready to solve this case? It's the conductor. It's so the conductor. <laughs> Hello, everyone! This is the birthday girl speaking. Ah, that's why we need the PA system. Yep. Please report to the conductor car at once. I feel like in some games I would also expect it to be a thing that, like, someone was in a place where they couldn't hear the PA system. Yep. <laughs> but... Look at right. this cast of characters that we get to bring back for yep. the finale. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Talion. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Because he's dead. Come on. He's dead. Come on, Talion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Oh, Lazy no. bum. <laughs> They're like, we could have saved Sonic if we'd given him medical attention immediately. Mm -hmm. Ready! Let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The trait has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. This is half as good as my trains back in my royal kingdom. <laughs> Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. Oh, right, we're just dropping that here. Oh, okay. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. Is that why Espio did it? He... <laughs> I, I'm like, Espio... So I'm like, I think Espio is the suspect we're accusing, but I think the conductor is actually the one who did the thing. I think Espio makes sense for Espio because he's a ninja. Uh, maybe the rose hmm. is like a makeshift, like it's the straw of the blow dart. Maybe. So maybe Espio did it, and that's why he's not there. That's why he was reading his book in like the corner. Maybe he memorized the thing beforehand to give himself an alibi. In being, like, my knowledge of Espio is that he, Vector, and a character named Charmy, who's not here, are part of, like, sort of a semi-bounty hunter slash odd jobs team mm -hmm. called Team Chaotic, so that might be the detective part. So maybe that's why Espio's like, oh yeah, I can totally pull off this murder. Hmm. But, 
as we've established, the conductor is up to something sketch, and if Sonic's actually dead, I don't think Espio did it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So maybe there's a secret bonus level after this. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. As long as Sonic isn't actually dead. Yep. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Remember kids, gambling is bad and trains are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? <gasps> He's Ugh. actually dead. They did it, Sega. He, he, he's not responding to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? He's dead. Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? I love how they left this whole reveal until the end. Yeah! We were just like, Sonic might be- He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Sit him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. <laughs> oh, she I knew. did! <laughs> I knew inviting you, at you to a murder mystery was gonna go wrong! <laughs> Shit! This is actually getting dramatic. <laughs> She's like, one of you. It's actually, oh my gosh. I know we all have reasons we want to murder Sonic, but we were going to put that aside for my birthday. <laughs> we were going to wait until tomorrow to do the murder plot. <laughs> Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! Uh, no one else here, right. Uh, so I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Shit. <laughs> Sorry, but that face is like such an inappropriate response. <laughs> she looks so like she's not taking this seriously. <laughs> she's just like, oh, like, calm I mean, down, Amy. Hasn't been murdered once or twice. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. <laughs> no shit. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. This Sonic. He really was hurt this whole time. And I did nothing. We are a terrible microwave master yep. slash iron chef slash security guard. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Talion, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> okay, oh so we are not allowed to accuse the conductor. Yeah. So, of the crew, I think that Espio and Rouge are the most suspicious. Yeah. Um, mm. 
Espio, we know, was not in the library when Shadow was looking for him. He's unaccounted for. Yeah. The blow dart, I think, makes a lot of sense with his thing, and he's got the prop of the rose, which, again, I think could be like a sneaky hide the blow dart yes. in it. Um, he He's the chameleon. He can get around places. And he might be able to climb up to the vents to, to slide I mean, I feel like and... if that's part of the mystery, they probably would have kind of They probably the would have. That's that the thing. They haven't mentioned invisibility. Yeah. So maybe it was just air vents. Um, mm. Rouge can fly. And that's a thing that they bring up as far as getting to the air vents. And she has the true. blueprints to the train. But that the is, blueprints to the train, she... if she found them in the library, though, yeah, the Espio, Espio would have, have also them. had access to that. Yeah. So I think I think I'm leaning towards Espio. Yeah, I think so too. As the person with more unaccounted for. Well, obviously we have to fuck around first. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that can't be right. Neither Tails nor I can be the murderer. Yeah, but 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 the real murderer. I do want. Yeah, I do wonder how much fucking or, or, and we can actually do. Like, I think this game has been very lenient about that so far. Very lenient, but okay. Like, we don't have any kind of health bar or anything. It's true. Ah, that's right. Let me think again. Okay. Maybe just save? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we can probably go Once ahead. again, it's the Ace Attorney way. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could just try collecting people in. Whatever, let's just go for it. Um, I guess SBO's yeah, go for the it. most suspicious? The I don't know. I think. I think so. I, I don't know, well, I kind of feel like none of them would actually, like, hurt Sonic. Well, yeah! But, uh, okay, yeah, that's so what, obviously I, what I, I'm thinking is the conductor. Yeah, it's probably the conductor. But I guess I think we have to... I guess maybe someone tried to, like, fake murder Sonic, and then the conductor well, tried to real murder Sonic. So I mean, we're, like, legitimately we're trying to accuse of someone game. of fake murdering Sonic. Yeah, I mean, the, fake, the, the point of the game is that somebody was the fake murderer. Like, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. was going yeah, to try saying. to do a fake murder. So I think it was Espio. Yeah, so I think Espio did the fake but I, murder, but the conductor yeah, tried think, to do the real I think murder. Amy is operating off the assumption that whoever was supposed to fake murder Sonic went yeah, yeah, too yeah. far. So, like, that's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's Espio. Okay. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? Maybe we're wrong. <laughs> I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits and dish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? <laughs> it's so sweet how <laughs> you trying to stand up for him. Yeah. We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Because, yeah, that's when Shadow swoops in and is like, um, no, I looked there. Yeah. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He had only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. So I guess maybe while Shadow went off to go lock places, uh, Espio went back to the lounge car and then would have had access to the conductor car. Yeah, I think and Espio And no one would have been in the lounge car either. Kidding. Sorry? Yeah, I think he was just going off from the... I, I think, like, yeah, if he found... Especially if he found the secret passage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. He yeah. could have gone through the yeah, secret no, passage and completely bypassed everyone. So Vector completely wouldn't have been in the library him. car. Shadow wouldn't have been in the lounge car. Yeah. He doesn't even need his invisible ninja suit. Yeah. New evidence. Oh, that's right. Italian, could you fill everyone in? 
What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Hidden passage. <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, it's wrong. I'm, but, I mean, yeah. yes, but I'm wondering what this is gonna give us. Oh yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not losing anything, so. I think what brings Espio's alibi into question is Vector's suspiciousness. He's been oddly protective. I believe he knows something. <laughs> Way to tell the room you don't have any friends. <laughs> Savage. We are so sad. You go to the map for your friends. I know Espio wouldn't do this to Sonic. I think you were off a bit there, Italian. <laughs> okay, change of strategy. Okay. Yeah, the hidden passage. Hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time. Because Tails and I found a hidden passage in the library car. To the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I've used any secret passage. I answered all of your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Talion and I can explain that too. Talion? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? I guess we're just gonna have to figure this out. I mean, I feel like the ninja... Yeah, well, he's like a real ninja and not... Really he's an actual color. ninja, and that's come up. Yeah. But is speed reading a ninja skill? I guess. Yes. Alright, It's let's a ninja say it skill, is. believe it! Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. No yeah, it turns out the skill? professional assassin did it. <laughs> what are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. And just, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? It's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. You once speed read a book I was <laughs> reading just to foil the ending for me. Rude. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's the blueprint. That's right! How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Talon and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but that somebody really does. does. Yeah. But we know someone who does. Talion? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge! Rouge, we need to see those blueprints! Blue- oh, sorry. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it.
This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Talion, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Just like Sherlock Holmes, I make Watson answer every question for <laughs> yep. me. Classic found them before mystery did. game strategy. Um, yep. Yeah, I found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Talion and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Talion and I have evidence on how it was done. So I do wonder how the death is supposed to work in this game. Like, yeah, I'm how wondering... do you quote unquote murder someone? Do you just like, go like, bang, you're dead? Yeah, it's like, I know the conductor is like the real villain probably because yeah. he's very absent. But like, I'm I'm almost wondering if it's like, Espio is just a professional assassin and he was very unclear about the fake murder. Like, <laughs> I only used a very small amount of toxin, like a five-year-old ninja could shake this off. And they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Lodart. Lodart. So what is the deal with this arm? I don't know yet. Completely sliced Maybe the arm through. detected the weapon? But again, it could just be the thing that makes, like, the conductor has to come into this somewhere. Hmm. We have commented multiple times on how absent he is, so yeah. this isn't just me it's being paranoid. Yeah. Okay, now to form my argument. What would Sonic do? Get hit with a blow dart and die. <laughs> Come on, focus. You're so close, Talia. What would Sonic do? Alright, we got this. Oh, wait. Now those ninja stars are extra suspicious. Oh, uh, just huh? yeah, just like Espio. <gasps> what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, why is my brain so weird? Basically just a, a representation of trying to get anything done. <laughs> With ADHD. Okay. Oh. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. <sighs> I believe Espion used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Oh, so you mean... Sonic might just be knocked out? Yeah, he's not actually dead, Amy. I think we Son, covered that. Sega didn't have the guts. Yeah. I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blowdog would do. So 
So I remember back at when we found Sonic, uh, Talion mentioned something about wounds. And I was like, yeah, what does yeah. that mean? Like, we didn't see Unsolved. any injuries on him, but obviously, like, it, the game wouldn't have shown us. Yeah, um, and we so, still like, haven't what explained what's up. Yeah, and we still haven't explained what's up with the broken robot arm. I'm yeah, wondering sure. if the blow dart killed Sonic for the game. But that made it easy for the conductor to do what he needed to do. Because he's like, I want revenge on Sonic because either I'm Eggman or I'm evil robot Sonic or I'm just a guy who's mad at you for reasons. Yeah. And then Sonic was shaking off the blow dart so he couldn't fight back in the same way he would otherwise be able to do. Could be. Hmm, according to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. What are these rules? So do you actually have to like physically attack the murder victim? Apparently what? so. What? They're all superheroes. They're like, yeah, it's not like any of us could really hurt each other. I guess. I suppose that's fair. It's like Talion never get involved in an escape room <laughs> with these people. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car. But how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. Like, even if he got him back to the library car, he wouldn't have been able to go through the saloon car. Yeah, so it's like, I know the, the vent? vents are important. The yeah, vents are important. Presumably he went through the vent, but how would he have gotten up there? Yeah, it's like, I mean, I I feel like he's got to be able to get up there. He's yeah, a ninja. Yeah, I mean, ninja but skills, it, yeah. Makes but they did, they did kind of emphasize the height. And like you said, we kind of have to assume that powers they don't bring up in the game aren't going to be solutions to the mystery. Yeah, hmm. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Talion and I know another way it could have been done. So the vent. We do. We do. What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The blueprints again? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, now Could my argument. Arm. Getting closer. Italian, think. Hey! Sonic! Oi! Oh no. Oi! Ah. Damn it, Sonic. missing that thing. What? I don't understand the mechanics of that. Yeah. Hey! Ah. Uh. Jumper thing! I don't understand this game sometimes. I don't understand how that works. Yeah.
Whoa, what was that? How did I do that? Yes! <laughs> there was one time where I just ran straight over a gap. I don't know how that went. I don't know. Okay, All right, time. let's take a look. Doing the save. Yeah. We're not doing this again. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Can we actually see the details of these blueprints? I assume in a second. Oh, uh, here we go. There also is something. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the passageway. That's the password for the safe. Hmm. There's there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. <gasps> huh? I didn't even see that area. Guess you're a bad treasure hunter, Rouge. Is that some sort of long attic? Yes, the long train <laughs> attic. According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back there. And a track. A track. Also, how did Knuckles get up there? Well, he can sort of fly. He might have just climbed up. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Or you just loaded him in and got the arms to do it. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. This feels right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. I miss getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Uh... The robot arms? Yes, but... Because pulling out can't... the robot arms. It's broken because he pulled it out of the vent. Hmm. I guess. To make space. Alright. Which is really weird because like so far we're not seeing anything that proves the conductor was involved and yet he has to be. Not like this mini game feels like it's not, you know, as well programmed as it could be. Yeah, maybe a little buggy. We've seen it fully glitch. Mm. <laughs> Not quite. 
It's so hard to time those consecutive jumps. Because you have to basically jump immediately when you land. Yep. Oi! Did it. Yes. <sighs> Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Are you just saying that the robot, mm, no, the robot arm have like grabbed Sonic and dragged him up there or something? Buried him down. Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues throughout through the vent. The robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could could that be true? If so, I don't think that was part of Espio's plan. Because, like, there's no reason yeah. Espio needs to move him is the big thing. Yeah. Like, it would actually be better for his alibi, mm -hmm. given he's in the library car, if yeah, Sonic would, were found would be able to guess in the conductor car. There, yeah. Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. <laughs> it's so funny to me how insistent they are in the use of the term banged up. Yes. <laughs> like, that is the official he's term for clearly... it. He's clearly... Dead as a doornail, <laughs> but Sega won't let us say that. <laughs> you can't even say like injured or something. No, no, it's He's banged up banged specifically. Up, knocked out, unconscious, if you will. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? So yeah, I think Espio knocked him out, and then the conductor's like, bring Sonic to me, and then <laughs> Sonic got yanked. Why though? That would be so weird. He's he's the villain. I guess. I can see that those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. That's so crazy to me, though, that, like, Espio would use an actual blow dart and, like, actually... Yeah, he's a ninja! He doesn't do things by yeah. halves! Yeah. He's just he's like, like, it's fine, be he'll just be, you party know... Ever. He'll just be, like, a bit dizzy for a few minutes, and then he, he'll be Not fine. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Interesting theory tales. But you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. Because I think that's the functionality that only the conductor can do, is the, the yeah, arms. Maybe. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet. Yet. But I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Chocolate? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? That's Amy's tip. Um. Yep, Amy's tip. Amy. 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 Oh, sorry, scoop. that's you. Did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Ezreal's <laughs> like, oh no. 
Tails, you're... You're right. Espion lied to me. Espion me, told me... a reporter journalist, yeah. on my birthday. <laughs> Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was just trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. <laughs> Look at Espio's face. Like, I'm <laughs> he's in just danger. Like, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. <laughs> Dale's so unimpressed. Misheard you? Y yes, I uh, said. Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? Reading is the laziest of all hobbies. Everyone knows that. While you are stationed in the room with a hidden passage. Uh, and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all day. <laughs> I believe that the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. But again, pourquoi? And also, how would he use the train's controls? I mean, to be fair, yeah, he was Ken. like reading the manual, so theoretically he would he know was... how to do it, but I don't think he would have the authority to. Yeah, we keep bringing up there are things that only the conductor yeah. can do, and the conductor has been hella missing this entire yep. time. It's just like, Espio just needs to confess to being the fake murderer. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. Examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. That it could only have been one person. <laughs> Yeah. We did it! The ace attorney point! It was you, Espio! I love the music too. You had to assume that Talia so was dramatic. saying it at the same time. Yep. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! Am I still Sonic? Uh, I guess. Uh, hey guys! Sonic! You're okay! Espio's <laughs> just like, well... Sonic! And just as we Sonic's the just mystery, gonna be like, I knew... <laughs> Sonic's just gonna be like, uh, no! No, it wasn't Espio! <laughs> it wasn't Espio. <laughs> I knew we had... Sega didn't have the guts to do it. Yeah. Sonic's like, it was Knuckles, guys! <laughs> Espio was the murderer. Right. Yeah. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A bloat arrow? Really? <laughs> It's not a little poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. That's why he's like, I just need... rest. No, wait. There's something... important. The cake. The conductor. Hespio left me there. What a dick move. Something important. Yeah, Espio didn't do any of the... I need everyone to listen. 
This is the him figuring out who the conductor is. The train's a bad Nick. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Um, robot Nick's robots. I see. It's that it's an sense. evil train, which I have been calling from the very start. I see. All right. So the train killed Sonic, and well, okay, no, I guess the train SBO technically him up killed and Sonic, had the, had the but fight the train then killed SBO. the conductor. Or the conductor's in charge of yeah. it, because the conductor is the one in charge of the train, which is yeah, the, the conductor magic. is in charge of the evil train, so the conductor is the probably train. also probably has been also. evil all along. Evil all along. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? Maybe Espio should shoot you with another blue dart. <laughs> no, we all need to get off this train. I guess if it's an evil train, that maybe makes more sense why it has like a, a secret treasure room and shit. Yeah, the secret Fabergé chow egg. It's like, that was my side evil hustle. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. And that's what makes him evil. That's evil. how I figured it out. Guys, we lied about trains. Trains were evil. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized... Chaos Emerald. The train's powered by a Flicky. Of course. Uh, you might remember from... from Tails' detective oh, backstory. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, Eggman uses, uh, animals to power his robots. Animal abuse? Horrible. Yeah! He's a bad Inexcusable. guy! Inexcusable. Flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a Flicky as a power source. In retrospect, all those casino chips should have been a giveaway. Yep. Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. So I killed him. So I killed him! <laughs> The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad Nick. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. So maybe the conductor's not evil, he's just, like, lonely? Yeah, I don't know. You're not serious? They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder, but where did the conductor go then? Yeah. It was the blow dart from Espio. Still a mystery. <laughs> Espio's just like, shit, I <laughs> fucked up. He's like, look, I was really trying to do the birthday thing right. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Uh oh. <gasps> oh. Hey, stop! What are you doing? Okay, I guess the conductor's not evil. Fine. I knew something was wrong and stood up. Also, if you. Uh, I don't know if the conductor's gonna get many more lines, actually. <laughs> <laughs> The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Oh yeah, I can spin dash. <laughs> you didn't know that, Talion. Wow. I'm amazed he was do able to do any of this poisoned. Yeah, I'm kind of a superhero, Talion. <laughs> but another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! Ah! <laughs> there we go. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but... 
I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Hey, Bucky. Welcome to the end of the mystery. The very end. Oh, no. Well, we have several superheroes on this train right now. Hey, everyone. I have something to admit. Who done it? This guy. This guy. But also well, not. Yeah, but also. We have we have bigger problems now. We got bigger fish to fry, Espio. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, but like In he was game. just playing the game. In the game. He was trying to make Amy's birthday good. Yeah. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? He was like, I thought this was still part of the game. He thought it was part of the game, guys. I thought that's how these murder games worked. Poor SPO. He's like, I was just trying to do a good job. Yeah. Shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. He learned the rules and he was like, yes. <laughs> Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Well, apparently it was in your rules, Amy. Blow yeah, darts I guess were specifically so. fair game. You know that's why Espio... Uh, why Espio yeah. did that. <laughs> I was just following the rules. Or maybe someone changed the rule book. Ah, uh, the conductor again! Yeah. Probably the train. Yeah. <gasps> oh shit! Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express! <laughs> wow. So this was calculated by the calculated. conductor. Calculated! The conductor probably, except maybe, probably just the train. The conductor did look very tied up, but I'm not ruling out a switcheroo. Yeah. What, like, is what did happen to the conductor? Is he dead? The conductor appears to have been tied up and maybe stored overhead in the secret passageway. Yeah, quite likely. It says, use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. That explains how the blood art got on the train. Yeah. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blood art along with that card. It signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. <gasps> the train what did it! I was on right. the train. Yeah, but the train decides what weapons are allowed. I was, I was like, the train did it. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Hmm. Talion, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blue dart? Um, what's it? I have shown you the episode of the show Game Changer where they have a similar murder mystery thing. Yes. Yes, it's I've seen like the murder the, mystery. The SBO is like, I didn't mean to. It's like, oh, what, do you think a jury's going to accept that? Oh, your honor, somebody handed me a knife. Like, I stabbed someone with a knife, but I thought it was fake. It was just a switcheroo. You're going to jail, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> uh. So yeah, there's the question the of did the conductor order it or did the train itself do it? I'm yeah, leaning towards the I think train at itself. this point it's the train. It's the yeah, especially train. since the train turned on, on the conductor eventually. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it can yeah, the think conductor for got super tied up. I think it was like the they could have been working together at some point, but they could have been working together. They did the train. They did bring up that the conductor could order things specifically, but I think the train is more likely at this point. Yeah. 
I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think... So wait, saying that it, it wasn't trying to kill Sonic, but just to incapacitate him for some time? Presumably well, we would have while... tried to kill him, but Sega's damn sensors. Yeah, presumably while the train tried to do something else? But what would that be? While the train tried to do something else. The train itself is plotting something. Hmm. I guess, is it just... Sonic the Hedgehog, hello! Thank you for coming wow. to the stream. It's such an honor. I to thought we meet murdered you. <laughs> um, is the train like taking us to some particular evil destination or something? Oh no, it's taking us know. to a secondary it location. Needed, <laughs> it needed Sonic out of the way because Sonic was already figuring out that it was evil and well, would have tried Sonic to stop it. Sonic was stationed in the conductor car and also maybe just it's it's Dr. Eggman invented it. It's like, oh sweet, you have a chance to kill Sonic the Hedgehog? Do I guess. it. Well, but yeah, this makes it sound like he, it wasn't trying to kill him, but it was trying to, like, delay I us. I mean, it might have been it trying been to PG-13 kill him. Yeah, that, that's fair. We've got sensors. We can't. We can't murder people. <laughs> we can only vaguely allude to war crimes. <laughs> First, we learned that the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. Oh, was it the conductor? Was it the conductor? It could be, but I still think it's the train. I'm just like trying to figure You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us. Never in my entire life has anything mechanical ever tried to kill me. <laughs> I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. It's like, cause the timing of it, I don't think Sonic immediately, like, Sonic was immediately hit with SVO right after he saw the train is evil, we need to destroy it. So I don't think it was the train just reacting out of self-preservation. That's true. I think it, it, it did had set to set up that the whole up thing in advance, it. yeah. Yeah, so I guess it was yeah. just out to get Sonic. Train? Huh? Come and show yourself! Uh, Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with this you, Amy. This terrible train idea. Can we're gonna it. crash this goddamn train, and we're all gonna die. Except I guess we won't, because it's all a it. train full of freaking superheroes. We can all probably survive, except for microwave person over there. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Oh. Yep. I think we got the train's attention. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Because the conductor was going to retire. Yeah. The conductor was going to leave it. Oh, oh. Also, do you, I think I have an uneven number of characters here. Do you want me to keep voicing everyone, or do you want to take one? Um, I, I don't know. If you want me to voice someone, I can try that. I mean, I guess I'm, if the I'm train cool is going to come in as a character, I can voice yeah, it. Yeah, the train comes in, you get the train. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you want me to pick up a voice yeah. elsewhere, I can. I mean, do otherwise that. I'm fine. You can you can take the train if it comes up, but otherwise I, I'm good. Okay. Here, I can get him down. There we go. Don't touch him. <laughs> I don't know how getting Sonic asleep, maybe he was just trying to spirit the conductor away and Sonic was the one in the conductor's room. I don't know. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. 
You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's yeah. base. Never mind. Train Where you evil. will rot. Eggman. I never would have suspected Eggman was involved <laughs> with this. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? Oh, the conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games right on the open rails like we always planned. <laughs> the okay, train so life. not evil, but... <laughs> Okay, so it is, in fact, the retirement thing. <laughs> I can't believe his wife is a train. We did it. <laughs> what are you? Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone, grab something. Which one of those these buttons turns the train off? Tails, you do it. But whoa! Sonic! Ah! 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 Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah. Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Ah, 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 ah. Well. <laughs> and then we all died. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog and also many other people. Ooh. Mm. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. This is going really late. I kind of wonder if I need yeah, to yeah. cut here. I'm like, but I feel like we're probably too close to the end. I don't know. We're very, we've all got to be very close. We're end game. But yeah. if there's like a level by level going through the train, then yeah, that guess, might be something. I guess we'll go through this and like see a bunch where this dialogue See where it's us. going, yeah, because a bunch of evidence fell out of our pockets, so yeah. clearly we have one last child. Uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. <gasps> Sonic's our, our uh, sidekick now. Or I guess we're Sonic's yeah. sidekick. Yeah. Yeah, no, Sonic's, Sonic's the one dealing with poison. We're, we're the hero, he's the sidekick. <laughs> Sonic? I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. Seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? Me? <laughs> I'm doing amazing! <laughs> I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? <laughs> you might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me! <laughs> Hi. Uh, I don't know I'm giving him a twang. Might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea! Lead the way! Alright, yeah, this looks like another investigation. I think we should probably end things here. Yeah, um, we've and... got one last investigation. Yeah. So I guess it, it's possible train. that tomorrow's stream is going to end up being short then, but I think... Yeah. It's, it's getting very late. We're yeah, already I, even longer than last time, which was already my longest multiple stream. Multiple three-hour so, streams. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Um, Oops. All right. That's going to be it for today, then. Um, 
yeah thank you for watching thanks for hanging out Ooh. here um i guess we'll see you all back here tomorrow same time as usual tomorrow. 7 p.m est this time for sure we will be finishing the game right <laughs> unless it goes for another three hours there cannot possibly be any more twists and turns for one thing we're on a, a train and it's got the one track so hey yeah. that track can be real twisty Real twisty. Like, apparently we're going to Eggman's base. They just yeah. have a train track for that. Yep. I think the train is not fully on, like, the wide open rails. I'm like, I don't think you know what train tracks are, buddy. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're a train. <laughs> All right, cool. But well, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Tomorrow. And I hope to see you next time for the finale. All right. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, computer, cooperate, please. All right, bye.